So to play Last Day on Earth perfectly on your PC, you of course need a BlueStack, which is an Android emulator for PC. And if you don't know how to install it, I will leave a card here that which will take you to a tutorial video which shows the way to install BlueStack. So I recommend you to watch that video first and then come back to this video. So once you have completed installing the BlueStack on your PC, and the next step is to go to the Play Store and then search for the last day on Earth. And then just press the install button. So let's search for last day on Earth. And then click on the last day on Earth and then install it. So after installing it, just open it. So as you see, this is the UI of BlueStack. So if you want to make it full screen, just press this button. Okay. So as you see, I have been playing this game for more than two days now. And I start playing in the computer as well and I'm still playing it. So if you want to play this game on your PC perfectly, first of all you need to configure the keys for it. So this is my full configuration. So you may find some difficulties now because it's all messed up. So now I will show you how to configure the keyboard layout for your device as well. So first of all let's clear all of these. Okay. So as you see now every keys are gone. And if you are playing with this layout you may have to play with your mouse itself because we haven't set any key for this setup and also this will be the layout for you as you install for the first time so now what you have to do is go to the upside and press the keyboard button from here from here you can add different types of buttons for the keyboard as well as for the mouse itself so my aim is that to have a complete control over my left hand which will be sitting all the time on the keyboard and my right hand will be using for the mouse so that i can use my mouse to navigate in the bag or in the storage so guys now first let's set the control for the movements which is wasd so what you have to do is drag and drop this button over here and it will automatically gives you the WASD. The only thing that you have to note is that make sure to place it perfectly on that control itself. And if you want to resize it, you can resize it by going here. So let me resize it a bit. Okay. And then press save. Now when you press WASD, those movements will be going. So that's it. And now it's time to add for the remaining buttons as well. Let's start configuring the buttons from the left side. So first button is here auto. So if you want to add any buttons in the keyboard, just give a left click on it and then press the button that you want to set. So for me, I'm giving the C buttons for the auto. And then for the chat, I will be giving the left arrow key. So for the blueprint section, I will be giving R yeah, for the bag. So the letter E will be used as take action. So guys, one thing you have to note is that when you are setting the E button for take action or any button for the take action, make sure that it also touch on the take all button just like this. So basically what you want to do is that when you assign the key for take action, make sure it also overlaps here. So first place the E button over here and then press save, then go to any storage and then again go to the keyboard and also make sure that it touches here so that you can use E button for both the action that is take all action and as well as take action and after that you need to set for the crunch so I'm going to set the space bar for the crunch action now for the toggle button so if you want to make visible the toggle button first of all you need to put a equipment or any of those media kits in the second slot as well and then only it will be visible so after it's been visible, again go to the keyboard section and give a left click on it, then set it as V. So these are all the basic things that we will be using with our keyboard. Now for the mouse section, which, which is for the attack action, drag this mouse button to here and then resize it. Now press save. Yeah, we also need to assign for the close here. So I will be assigning Q letter for the close action and again press save. So now it's completed. So if you want to open the bag, just press the EF button and to close it, press the Q button. For the take action or for this button, press E and for the attack, just press the right click continuously. You can just press from anywhere. By the way, guys, I didn't set the keys for the store and as well as for this map because if you are using map you of course need to navigate with the mouse so it's better to click on the map with the mouse itself and for the store i'm sure that i will not be using stores for much cases and also if you want to use the store of course you need to use the mouse itself because for the navigation 
okay so this is how you can perfectly play the last day on earth on your pc so if you like this video or if this video was helpful you know what to do hit the like button comment your thoughts below also make sure to share this video to your friends subscribe and turn on the notification bell icon for more awesome stuff like this so it's me vm and i will catch you guys later